Good afternoon, everybody, a bourbon country mom. This past weekend, my husband and a friend of ours, uh, we all went out to the Orlando Taco Festival that was held at Drive Shack. Um, it is a new um, facility that opened up recently where you can go and um, basically like a driving range for golf. Um, they have fun little games that you can play. Um, they have a bar, they have full service food. Um, so they hosted the, um, the taco festival this year. So I have a lot of cool footage. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so we've officially made it into the taco festival here at Drive Shack. As a VIP, you do get a bag inside of your bag when you we paid for the $50 VIP so you get an hour early entrance so at noon instead of at one you get vouchers for five tacos and four premium drinks a complimentary lifetime membership um, it's a little bit chaotic and I will go over that a little bit later but now I'm gonna turn you around and show you all of the booths that are here outside of Drive Shack where you come in the VIP is over here on the right general admission is over here to the left where everyone is waiting to come in still um, who only paid for that because it does not start until one it's an ice cream school bus they also have Kona ice down here they do also in the back and I will walk over there they do have bounce houses because there are people who have brought their kids here Rock and Brews is actually a new restaurant that opened out on 1792 in Kissimmee on your way to Disney. Got the Tequila Expo over here. Like I told you, here is the bounce houses back here for the kids in the back corner of the parking lot. All right, now down the center part of the parking lot, they do have a large area here with some tables and chairs for seating. And you can hear the music. No, it's just a DJ playing right now. Uh, but they do have a stage out over here where it looks like they could have, uh, looks like they're gonna have some live music. Here's some additional booths over here. This is a smoke shop for, uh, looks like vaping. Authentic empanadas. They have Tijuana Fresh. They also have, or Tijuana Flats, I'm sorry. They have Hello Fresh as well. They also have a wrestling ring because they will be having um, a Mexican style wrestling occurring later today. parking lot by drive shack to the left of the building is the merchandise stand we're gonna head over there shortly all right so they have two different style shirts and it's kind of windy but they have their logo on one and the other one talks about i'm into fitness all shirts are 20 the sombreros are 10. they also have for the women they have the cake top chicken with blue cheese you also have the option for ranch and it comes with lettuce and tomato and cheese here is the ranch option no tomato on mine all right we also ordered the carnitas those look yummy all right so the taco land buffalo chicken was had great flavor the chicken was moist the tortilla was nice and soft but holy buffalo sauce, my mouth is on fire. My sinuses are cleaned out. And a big thing that I wanted to let you guys know about, so with our VIP, like I said, we got five vouchers for tacos. Some of the tacos are only one voucher, some tacos are two. The 
buffalo chicken was actually two tickets. So now I'm left with three, but they do have areas where you can buy additional vouchers. If you don't buy vouchers, most of the tacos run around $3 a piece, but the voucher stations, from what I understand, you can buy five for $5, which then essentially makes your tacos a dollar a piece if you buy the ones that are only one voucher. Um, I will double check though and update if needs be. The guys stopped off at Twisted Fajita. Mark was supposed to get the skirt steak, but this is actually the chicken fajita. And just real quick while I've got you, what did you think of your taco at the Taco Land? Uh, really good. Uh, chicken was moist. Um, the buffalo was, it was a mighty buffalo. <laughs> but, That's what uh, I said too. No, the blue cheese was great too. Good mixture. So we are at the taco drive stand. We've got the smothered tots, which has queso, jalapenos, and sour cream. We have the beef taco, which on their menu says, AKA boring ass taco. I ordered the pork taco, which has a Thai sauce, looks like pineapples, and some coleslaw. Okay guys, so behind me is the Taco Drive uh, food truck. This is where I got the pork taco. It had Thai sauce, uh, some nice cabbage coleslaw, and grilled pineapple. Hands down, probably one of the best tacos with the flavor. The tortilla had a little bit of crunch to it. The pineapples gave it just a nice little sweet taste and the Thai sauce just over the edge. So if you, they are on Instagram and Facebook as you can see behind me. So if you're able to find them when you're down here in the in the local area, try them out. Their tacos are amazing. Um, so my husband said that the beef tacos actually had really good flavor. He said there was nothing boring about it. And then our friend that's with us said the tots were good. He said, but it would have been even better had they put it in a taco. So we're gonna go see what else we can get into. Plaza del Sol and the boys got shrimp tacos. Now these are two tickets. What is all that green stuff on top? Cilantro. Lots of cilantro. Onion and cilantro. Okay, we're gonna head in and check out the VIP area, which is up over here to the right. Guys, the rain has subsided. 
we got the uh, churros with chocolate and caramel sauce and the nachos with queso, black beans, pico de gala, and a uh, guacamole cream sauce at the tacos and churro stand. So my overall thoughts on the Orlando Taco Festival was, I would say it was a hit. There were a lot of amazing food vendors there. There were also places that you could test um, or taste test tequila. Um, they had live music. The weather for the most part did cooperate. There were some pretty dark clouds that rolled in for a while. It did rain, but thankfully, um, as you saw in the footage, we did have the VIP area where we were able to go up and kind of get out of the rain. Um, so that was nice. We took a nice little break up there. We were able to use some of our um, drink vouchers to you know, enjoy a margarita and sit down and relax while we were waiting for the storm to pass. Um, overall, the tacos that I tried they were hands down some of the best tacos I've ever had. I love tacos. I could eat Mexican food um, literally every day for every meal if it was possible. So the tacos that I did have, I mean, the flavor was amazing. Um, everything that the guys tried as well, they said was over the top, really good. Um, the margaritas were honestly just your average margarita I mean when we were in the VIP lounge area they had a huge like um drink holder type thing with a spout on the bottom of it and that's what the margaritas were in now you could taste the tequila though because I think with them putting it in that huge um drink dispenser like it kind of felt like the tequila kind of all settled to the bottom instead of being like mixed in since they weren't freshly made but overall I mean we paid $50 per ticket for the VIP experience, um, which gave us an hour early access. We got five taco vouchers and we got four drink vouchers. We also got a shot glass um, with the taco uh, festival emblem on it, a little sample size of some type of hot sauce. Um, but you know, they had, like I showed you guys, they had the merchandise. I would say overall it was really cool. If it were to come back here again next year, I would definitely go check it out. You could tell it was the first time that they were having a festival. There were some hiccups and things in regards to selling, overselling their tickets. And there probably weren't as many vendors there um, as could have been. So I'm hoping if they have it again next year, we can go check it out again and it'll be even better than it was this year. Um, but overall, I hope you guys really enjoy the video. Um, if you guys are enjoying the videos, please make sure to comment, like, share, subscribe. Let me know. Be sure to check out my Instagram as well. I'm always active on Instagram. So 
I look forward to talking to you guys again soon. Cheers!